no, no, just in general. Oh, and I'm about to say I was not in the Discord. Guy, if you if you weren't in the Discord and she says y'all, then she's not talking to you. All so right. we got we gotta we gotta like you know unless she if, specifically says Sky using the Discord or do using whatever it is. Like if she's saying y'all and you're not part of that y'all, let's so we can keep the conversation going because I want resolve. That's, that's right. If, if it don't fly, let that's it fly. I want, like I, I just want resolve. Um, anybody who is making comments like the Miss A Parker person and this person right here, um, elect. Alex knows Allah, they got to go block them because I'm not doing bigoted comments. And I said that once and I'm going to say it again. Not doing that. Okay. I just want so, I'm going to go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Really, 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 really. Um, I, I'm so sorry. I was literally been trying to leave for like an hour, but it was really awkward if I just dropped. I got you. So, but, but I did, I did want to ask this because I don't know what the fuck going on. I really don't care. But, I want to ask collectively, you don't have to answer. It could be rhetorical. It could be anything. I really don't give a shit. But we started this conversation talking about these questions on the screen and there were 400 people. In there. No, 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 no. Wait, just wait. Just wait. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Just hear me out. Mm -hmm. I'm saying we have, we, there was a lot of us that contributed talking about like, there's so much heat and tension about addressing people or like if there's, if there is some sort of drama behind the scenes. Then when we talk about it on the internet, we just had a whole conversation about, particularly with creators that look like us, and you get what I'm saying? That's when people started caring. We went from 400 people to 2,400 people. And I want to know, and I'm just saying this to say, what is the end goal of this conversation going to be? Just because, just because and, then I'm, and then I'm gonna go. Uh, and I'm, I'm gonna clarify before you go. But no, and right, and, and do clarify, because I, I know you wanna say something about that. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying like, what can I go next? I just want to say it before I forget. No, I, I'm but, not done. Hold it. Yeah, we with Ziggy finished because Ziggy's about to drop, and then we're yeah. And I just want to say I hope y'all figure out what needs to be figured out. But damn, I lost my train of thought. Actually, it don't fucking matter. But if if you have anything to say, then you can say it. And if anyone has anything to say, I just want us to collectively heal because then it be getting real messy real quick, and I just want. I just want people to resolve and, and be good and do their things. And that's it. That's All it. right. So here's the thing. Eb, Eb, after all, Karen, you got to let Monty speak. I, I, yeah. I, got, I got this. Please oh, understand. I got this. I'm doing it this way for a reason. Please understand that. If y'all don't like it, I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. Okay. I got it. Right. But Ziggy, mm. I knew it was going here. I knew it was going to come here. I knew some. Oh, was okay. I didn't, I, I didn't know. One thing about me, and this is the thing, I'm under, underestimated all the time. I knew it was going here, right? But if we're going to have a conversation, it's going to be productive. Whether the resolve is we're not fucking with y'all bitches no more. I don't like none of y'all. Then that's just what it is. But there's going to be some sort of resolve. I knew it was going here. I was pre prepared for it to go here. Because you can't have general conversations amongst all of us and think they're not going to get kind of specific. So I knew it was going here. I didn't, and I didn't know yeah, that. I, 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 I had a feeling. So it, I didn't want anyone it, to get angry with what I was saying about that. I just, I just, I feel like this is very cyclical in nature, be it one issue or another. And I just, like, I just, if, if nobody had internet access and none of these apps existed tomorrow, what would be solved? That's it. The thing is, the problem, the reason things don't get solved is because they're half-assed talked about. That's very true. You That's right. why I'm very specific and intentional with who I'm letting talk when in my space. Because at the end yeah. of the day, all of it, it's us. We talk about things, the infighting, it's still us. Doesn't matter what side of the diaspora that you fall on, it's still us. And we are sitting here trying to talk, let our feelings out, do these things and everybody's valid. Yet everybody's still looking at it. Like you said, it jumped to 2.5 because it's entertaining to them. But it has to be a result. Because if not, I'm gonna end this live right now. Somebody else is gonna live and talk about it again. They go in that last somebody else is going live and talk about okay. these other motherfuckers over on the other side who all they do is talk about us. My goal is that we, whether we decide to fuck with each other or not after the fact, there is a resolve so we can move on because everybody has a greater purpose on here. Everybody else here talks about important things regardless of where it, what they talk about. And that's the only thing that's important to me. So I don't give a fuck about these motherfuckers in the comments. Eb, you should. Eb, let this person. I don't give a shit about what y'all saying. I'm going to do shit the way I want to. If you don't like it, move on. Have your own life and keep shit going. But I want stuff to stop. 
if the resolve is we don't fuck with each other, not we, because I ain't got nothing doing that. Y'all don't fuck with y'all don't. Everything is a learning lesson and a growing experience. If you can't take it as then you want to keep talking about shit, you want to keep being messing and not there be progress amongst black people, then do that. But we're not doing that here. That's what it is. I love you, Zippy. Fair. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I hope y'all solve whatever you need to solve. Love y'all. Have a good night. Drink some water. Stay hydrated. If you didn't eat, eat some. If you need to take your meds, take your meds. And happy almost Friday. Bye. All right, go ahead, Karen. And when you're done, uh, do a demani. So, I mean, what I was trying to I'm say. Like, up right now. Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. What I was trying to say is all of us like have something that someone would call problematic. And at this point, if you don't like it, just black just block the person because it doesn't matter you say like uh like uh i think it was sky you the people you hang out with is problematic other this is what she said to jaunty so but then then you all will say later oh if you hang out with this person's your friend block me but is but so it's only for certain people you care about if they block certain people can i respond to that so she said my name no i'm not done well, hold on, i'm wait, saying what she's done i'm saying what she's yeah. done okay, okay. Yeah. I, I listen, Sky. I promise you, I got it. And if I don't got it when I say I got it, then just bring it to my attention. Then I just want us to all speak uninterrupted. That's what I'm trying to accomplish, so we all can get these feelings and things. Okay. Good. And so at the at at the end of the day, I follow who I want to follow. People follow who they want to follow. If you don't like what I said, you don't have to like what I said. But when you purposely try to misconstrued and twist words and all of that, just so you can have a, a reason to not like somebody, that's fine. I really don't care. And it doesn't, it's not going to make or break me. It's not going to make me feel sorry for anybody when they go through something because they don't feel sorry for me when, when I go through something. So at the end of the day, just be honest who you don't like and leave them alone. And if somebody wants to talk about you, fine. Let them talk about you. Y'all talked about me, called me, it, 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 my, my fault. Bratz said, that, oh, Aunt Karen's old. This, uh, so y'all don't care about what y'all, y'all, y'all cussed out other people. And it just like, why do y'all even get up here and want to act holier than thou? We all say stuff. We've all said nasty things to someone else or anything like that. And it's just like everybody want to just sit here and act like, oh, we got we got to be perfect. Everybody has to be perfect. Oh, you're not perfect in this moment. So you're a problematic black person. You're a pro you're not uh, some. I can't remember who this person was who said this, but they're like, oh, Aunt Karen is, is a white woman. Like, get get freaking real. It like, was me. I said you are a white woman cosplaying okay. as a black woman. It was okay. me. Okay, okay, yeah, I didn't know who said it. So once again, and yet you want to try to hold somebody to the fire. Like, come on, like y'all, y'all don't take away no, you don't give nobody no blackness, and you don't take away anybody's blackness. That's some dumb stuff to do and try to act like you're better than somebody, because you're not. None of us are better than anybody else on this app. So to sit there and try to say, oh, you're what you're you're cosplaying as a that's childish, that's ignorant. And that belittling to other black people because you don't get to strip away somebody's blackness because you don't like them. Grow up. The way that you that's act uh -uh, and the danger uh -uh. that you pose to the there, black people, you're not going to tell me to grow up and you're not going to say to you. If you think I'm a like, danger, nah, we ain't gonna do that. Then block we're not me. Sit no, we're going to do that. You're not a danger. Like you if I'm a danger, then block me. You bet. This is what we're going to do. I said what I said, and I meant that for everybody. We're going to let people finish, and then we will talk. That's everybody. Everyone. Okay? So, I'm Karen, unmute yourself. Finish. Dip. No, Dip, it's just... uh, hold. Dip can respond, because what you said, obviously, like, touched on something she said, but then we have to let Monty and do a talk as well. All right, go ahead, I'm sorry. But it just what what gets me is that we want to sit here and invalidate people's blackness. We want to say who's really problematic as if we got the the uh, as, as though we have the authority. You want to say you're for black people, but you're stripping away somebody's blackness because you don't agree with them. It is childish. It is crazy to me. But you, and then you want to sit here and act like you're holier than thou. Y'all are cowards when you do that. You care about the black community, but then you want to strip somebody of their blackness. You can't. You only utilize your. Oh, you can't.
When it's convenient I, for you, Miss, I was yeah, bullied yeah, by yeah, the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, dip, uh, Karen didn't finish. So Karen, let us know when you're done so Dip can intervene and we gotta let Monty talk. Monty, do I haven't said anything? Karen, go ahead. Um, I got a delay, but I just wanted to Karen, say that oh, you don't, you don't I got a control delay, the narrative. I just wanted to say Karen, so that, that's it. Oh, you don't, I thought, you don't, Karen, you might got to drop and come back. Uh, Dip, go ahead and respond to her, and then we're going to let uh, uh, no, Monty was here first, then Monty, then Dua, and then we'll get back on. Monty can go ahead and go, because she been... Um, I wanted to talk about the topic, but um, dang, I had a couple things to say, but okay, on this list thing, I don't know, like, it keeps getting brought up every day. I'm tired of the list. I took accountability. I reached out to everybody who I felt needed to be reached out to. I don't know what else I can do. Um, but um, what I was gonna say, like you, Gentile, you mentioned something about like people using your platform and stuff. I don't know if you felt like I've used your platform or anything to that nature. Um, I don't feel like I have. I wasn't, I wasn't talking about you. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 it, it's it's a handful of people. If I was to sit here and name every single username. It would it would start the next womb lands. I promise you it would. But I, no, I, I feel I feel like a lot of people in your circle. Yes, I feel like a lot of people in other circles. Yes, a lot of people in in uh, a lot of people in slim circles. Yes, it, it, like I, I could name drop all day long, and I promise you, if I do it, it's gonna be the next like. Nah, like I'm not even I'm not even with that. I, I I've exuded so much energy. And, and I felt like I had said everything I needed to get off my chest that's been boiling in me for the past year. If people felt a way about it, I'm sorry if I hurt anybody, but child, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of people playing in my face. And like I said, I feel used and abused respectfully. And and one thing and one thing else you're gonna, but, but, but one I, I wanna say before you finish, Slim was right. This side of TikTok is a fucking joke. Kane, there, there, there should be no, no, no accountability. TikTok accountability, accountability. TikTok needs to die. Respect. There's no such thing. There just isn't. How are you gonna sit here and be fat phobic to this person while being actively homophobic? How this per How are you gonna call out this person for being racist while being misogynistic? This is lame to me. I disagree only in the sense of it's only certain people on this side who do that. Not everybody does that. So we can't. Well, yeah, I understand. That's that. the realization we can't make because some people ain't those people who do that. And can I um, say one more thing too? And like, as far as like you feeling people use your platform, I think like, I don't want to say you might have to take accountability for that, but like when you on this app known for like, drama or like clapping back and stuff people gonna gravitate to that and be like well hey if he clap back get people maybe i could get up and and talk to him about you know and clap back at other people so that's probably why i think you feel like people using you because when you do stuff on the app people gonna want to engage with that um what else i was gonna say and I, I don't know. Damn, I, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry, Monty. I'm just trying to keep it so easy. No, it's okay. But I do think y'all is held to a different standard because of y'all platform. And it's like people like on this app definitely have a cult like mindset. Like if Genty was to right now say everybody mass report Monty's page, they would do it with no question. I think people uh, use your word as if you're gospel. They don't think twice about it. And I think that's really weird. Um, like, I, I don't think people on this app have a mind of their own and, um, but yeah, that's really it. And like the whole, like, I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, you say you wasn't talking about me that then that's fine. Cause I was going to say, yeah, yeah. I go live on my page and don't get 2000 views, but I definitely get views and gifts and cash app. So I don't I wanna, need no I want to retort one thing before, before we go to the next person. Um, when I. I'm not talking about when people hop in a box while I'm being messy. That's not at all what I'm talking about. I'm talking about 
when people have an issue with somebody, they always want me to be the one to host the space. I'm talking about when people have issues with somebody else, they try to somehow involve my name and my name gets gets brought in somehow. And then when that individual you got a problem with speaks on me, y'all be like, oh, Jinty, 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 this person's speaking on you. Like, that's what I'm talking about. And people know what I'm talking about. People like to use me as an atomic bomb. And just because I'm this person, I'm that type of person, just because I'm I'm, I'm loud, I'm, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, that doesn't mean it's okay to do that. Like, I get it. I know I'm messy. I know my lives are toxic. And if my lives are toxic, get the fuck out the lives. Don't watch them. Stop being a pussy and leave. Go watch, go, go, go watch that church shit. Go watch a Tyler Perry movie. Don't watch me if it's too much for you. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. I'm not going to stop being who I am because you're a pussy and can't handle a fucking dialogue between a, a couple problematic people you don't like. Then leave. Oh, last thing I wanted to say. Um, I think uh, the comments do play into the messiness. Too. We can't and hear Michaela, you. Michaela, Michaela, leave me oh. alone. Michaela Taylor, that's the one. That, that, that's the one I want to put a name on, uh, 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 Eb. That's the one I'm going to put a name on. Leave me alone. And this is what you're going to do. You're going to sit here and say that I'm bullying you and this and the third. Beloved, you've been sitting here on my ass for the longest time. I don't see you in Scholar's lives on his ass when he's doxing black women. I don't see you on, 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 on Blaze's ass when he's actively doxing social security numbers of black women. I don't sit here and see you uh, actively holding cartel accountable when he made crude and disgusting jokes about Nick Nick and freaking Voodoo Bay. I don't see you holding these people accountable. You on my ass for what? Because you don't like the way another nigga talk y'all pussy for real leave me you alone took it out of like, you I really don't like that. me because you don't <laughs> then don't go to the balls don't go to a gay club don't go to a gay bar don't go to a gay barbecue if i'm too much for you baby then leave queer people alone period Stop sitting here talking at me. I don't know you. I don't like you. You don't like me. Go clock somebody else's tea. That has done far worse than me. This is where I agree with Aunt Karen. Y'all picky and choosy as hell. As hell. And it's weird. And we sick of it. And then when we sit here and clock y'all shit or sitting here telling you to back the fuck off, oh, we weaponizing our big following, then leave us alone. I don't know you, sis. You sitting here talking about I'm a danger to black women because I talk about crunchy ass wigs? Are you fucking kidding me? If that's the case, then Kevin Hart's a danger to black women. Eddie Murphy is a danger to black women. Richard Pryor was a danger to black women. Dave fucking Chappelle is a danger to black women. But my little queer dick sucking ass is a fucking danger to black women because I talk about wigs and, 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 and bitches shopping at Rainbow? Are you kidding me? Real quick, Jaunty. Um, Brett. I kept trying to add you up and it keeps dropping you. Can you put it back in? All right, go ahead. And also really quick before he goes on, I see some of y'all in the requests. Yes, um, you're welcome to come up at some point, but just not right now. Right now, we, we talking about the people in the box or who were in the box, that sort of thing. I'll let y'all up when I fucking feel like. Thanks. All right, go ahead, Jonathan, my fault. Can y'all hear me? So selective. No, we couldn't hear you. Y'all can hear me now? Mine, hold on real okay. Yeah, Monty, I hear you. I hear oh, you. Oh, the last thing I was just gonna say, like, yeah, the comments and stuff, they be messy and like um I think a lot of these issues could be resolved with communication because a lot of it be miscommunication. Like just last night I reached out to um I reached out to Merlin and we we talked about, you know, whatever we talked about. And she's actually a cool girl. But it just be miscommunication going on a lot of the times and comments be yeah, messy. You know, shit like that. So, but that's really it. Okay. Um, John, did you want to finish real quick and whatever you're? Yeah, doing? yeah. I just want to say this. Stop, stop tone policing me. Uh, I'm not talking. Not, not obviously not useless. I'm talking about in general. This side of this whack ass side of TikTok. I'm really starting to hate this side. Oh God, I'm about to go to freaking Sea Boil TikTok where freaking Scrubs is at respectfully because this side of TikTok is trash. Hey, it's boy. fake. Mm. Seafood boil TikTok is lit, especially Louisiana side of TikTok. It's fire over yeah. there. Respectfully, this side of TikTok is fake. It's bullshit. I'm tired of it. Certain content creators you guys deem as problematic were right about this side of TikTok. They were right. Whether you like Slim or not, and Slim gets on my goddamn nerves, but he was right. This side of TikTok is fake. 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 Like y'all sat here, I remember when that Keith Lee shit resurfaced, I remember this side of TikTok went so hard at Dippity over a video that got reposted from a year ago and y'all trashed her 
for nothing because y'all remember the little beef me and her had or the little beef she had with other big content creators it is so fake so freaking fake you got these freaking problematic people that's on the basement side of tiktok that talk about protecting black women but then they hold spaces where other people are body shaming the very young lady right next to me but they protect black women right right but hey but hey let's body shame let's body shame a uh, 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 sky because why not but I protect black women. Y'all don't protect nothing, man. Y'all don't protect queer people. Y'all don't protect black women. Y'all don't protect them dusty ass, crunchy ass wigs y'all got on y'all head. Y'all not even lacing them right. Well, let's be honest. Somebody's gonna screen record this and have something to say because y'all are in, in my space talking about it. Somebody else turn to go. It, it was. I want you oh, want to go and talk. If you didn't have a chance to in the sky. I know that there's a lot of points you wanted to address that were said as well. So you go mm -hmm. right after duo, okay? Okay, 4K per. Do it. Big dogs now. Eh. Baby, you're, mu you're muted. 4K. Baby. That's wonderful, Dip. I'm, I'm over here being poor. I'm not going to be poor. Oh, well, hey. Sorry, uh, my that's bad. That's, that's where we're going with it? I just want to I, I, let, I, I don't want to tone police your reactions, but you know there's certain things I just No, no, I know. I got to respect your I space. Don't, I apologize. I, don't. I feel like I've been ruining your space tonight. I'm sorry, yeah. but Cartel, I really don't like him. Damn. And I know, and that's and that's fine. I don't like him, Damn. but there are certain things that I don't agree with being said. So I just want that respected over here. Wow, uh, Jonty, Jonty, you good though, right? I feel way better that I got all of that off my chest. Yes, word. Because I was going to tell you, don't ever let a person with um, no shape get on your nerves, especially that uh, Michaela. You know, because you know she is probably the curvature of this and we don't we don't need that in our lives we don't need that nonsense leave the toshiba butt banshees alone they don't they don't need our attention um what i wanted to really talk about though was back to like the topics but um it keeps veering off and so I, I lost my train of thought but um i really just want to talk about ebb right now um because I think a lot of people really do forget that Eb has gone through a lot on this app just for speaking and having her own sense of your own, her own mind, her own thoughts. People have docs said things, crazy things. And, a lot, and I'm not trying to say that, you know, people are centering or any of that, but we have to keep in mind that when we get into these, when we get into these spaces, we have to like really, really understand that the host may be going through worse than we are. And I'm not trying to sit here and say, what was me? And we shouldn't, we shouldn't, you know, talk about our problems or whatever. We really, really like, if we, if we, if we, if we care about the host, we should really think about the host. You know what I'm saying? We should think, we should think about how they're feeling and, and not try to uh, dominate the, 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 the live with whatever drama we've got going on because sometimes a lot of us are too nice to say what we're going to say like especially me i don't i don't really say what i want to say to people sometimes in lives because i don't want to hurt people's feelings and eb is exactly like that because eb could have muted y'all should have muted a lot of y'all a long time ago with the arguing because that that's not that's not conducive to us that's not conducive to the to to the to the goal here which is to really point out the problems that we have at hand with big creators, small creators, whatever you want to call it. So I just want people to just be more mindful of the host and respect the host. If you know the host well, like I know the host well, respect the host. Because I don't be talking over Ed. I don't be telling Ed, hold on. I don't be doing that. I'm not, I'm not taking shots at nobody in here. I'm just saying we need to be more mindful of that shit because that shit is annoying for all parties involved. And Ed is too nice to y'all. Way too nice. Um, uh, I'll yield the floor. Thank you, honey. And was it before Scott Mana? Did you want to say something else? Because I know I want to. Yes. Um. And I'm glad Aunt Karen is back. Um. I don't know if Jency can hear me because it says he's like out. Yeah, it says pause. Uh, I was ordering food. My bad, y'all. Okay, so it was something that Jinty said, and I'm gonna connect to what Karen said. Who? Ab about about. Haley. Jinty, Jinty says something. Sorry, my bad. I'm higher. Jinty says something about um using him 
or using him as like a weapon or whatever, or um, whatever the case may be. And I remember our Karen um, basically throw our rocks on our hand, or we like pick and choose. Here's my thing. Let me help, let me connect the two. So when we were when we brought up the Aunt Karen situation, which I already apologized him for, because what his friends do, that shouldn't be a reflection of him. And I can hold myself accountable for stop associating with him with his with his friends. But Karen, I never was saying that Gentee's not problematic or says problematic stuff. The issue is there's a lot of problematic versus dangerous, right? I would not agree that Gentee's dangerous, right? But I will agree that stuff that's been happening in the past few weeks with not just me, but even that situation that with with that person, I'm not going to say their name, with Mr. Henry, even that situation, there is dangerous things happen. Fuck problematic. This stuff is dangerous. So, no, I didn't use that as an example to say, oh, you did something bad, Eb did something bad, Dip did something bad, Monty. It's not about who did something bad. I think it was more about why are you bringing up Genty and alive where they're trying to defend disgusting, dangerous behavior. That was my point from the very beginning, regardless of who says something problematic or not. Karen, I've never spoke your name up ever. I don't I don't know you. I've never I don't I don't, I don't even be in spaces where your name is being brought up. I don't. The one time that I was in alive with you is when Genty, I think you was there, but your name got brought up about the list or whatever case may be. But as far as like who's problematic or not, we're all trying to unlearn problematic stuff. It's deeper than just gen gentsy fat phobe and some white lady. Like it's deeper than that. This is extremely dangerous behavior. We're talking about harassment. We're talking about bullying. We're talking about doxing. We're talking about people getting their people sitting and talking about stuff that got to do with people, legal situations. That's what we're talking about. My Karen, it's why would you bring Gentee's name up to defend what we our whole argument against what the llamas were doing? That's not being talked about. I never was trying to weaponize Gentee. I'm just saying, why did you bring up his name to justify it? And again, that was more of okay, you know what? I keep just I'm trying to I'm trying to make Gentee um liable for what his friends or his people or people that's close to him are doing and i get that and i apologize for that part but what i what i meant i'm going to stand on you should have never used gentsy's name to justify what they were doing that's all it's not about throwing rocks it's literally about why would you even first of all karen i don't even know how you got in a situation i don't even know why you was in a box but anyway you well, got in a box her alive on, on. was being held and her name was brought up no, not this lock box. I'm talking, oh, talking about, about the one with Carnival. Oh. Yes, Carnival oh. Live went live after the whole Kappa situation, and um, Songbird was in there justifying, talking about some people want to pick and choose. Well, people want to pick and choose. Uh, let's be mindful of bringing name dropping if they're not. Oh, gonna... I'm just trying to give y'all context of the conversation. Well, I, I get it. You just, just say somebody. Okay, somebody and somebody was talking about the live, basically trying to justify what the llamas were doing, and Aunt Karen jumped in the box and said, "Well." y'all friends with Gentee and he said worse why are you using that to justify what we're talking against we're not talking about we're not talking against problematic behavior we're talking about we're talking about literal harassment and bullying pat is not hosting lives or hosting spaces and sending all the all the all the Gentee followers to to make fake accounts and post people's pictures and he don't got his picture up of scholar's wife in his background we're not talking about this. We're talking about active, dangerous behavior that's happening every day for a whole week straight. Just because Gentsy calls some bitch fat, okay, he and he took accountability. Why are you using that to justify how people DOXing and doing all this crazy stuff? That was the only. That was my point in even bringing that Aunt Karen situation up. Nah, it's it's okay. If people call me fat phobic. Listen, if you racist, homophobic, and you ain't got but, no neck. Do you listen, hear what I'm saying? Though? Period. You getting? Do you hear what I just said, Genty? So can I I'm trying respond? To um, I'm trying to see. Do you? Do, do are you hearing what I'm saying right now? I hear exactly saying. what you're saying. Yes. So Absolutely. it was not to weaponize you. I want to make that very clear. My father's ashes. I I did not do it to weaponize you. The point was, Karen used your name to justify something that we all collectively are saying. This is insanity. If somebody came up here and said, oh, um, 
do a, you a black ass bitch and started saying mad um like xenophobic shit about you and then i was like well um ed remember your friend has said that one thing about um sky being a fat bitch why are you using that to justify us bullying somebody that I, I feel like I'm talking in circles, but do y'all get what I'm trying to say? I, I, am I talking to that. Yeah, absolutely. Can, can, can we did, understand? Did she can we play? Can I see if everybody understands what I'm saying first before we go today? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Does, does everybody understand hold what on, I'm saying? Sky, Sky, hold on. Just really quick so we can reiterate. Um, no cats. Shout out to me to use cats. Um, the mods are going to give you a warning for things like that that are against uh, in the boundaries that we set. Um, if you don't like the way that the live is being housed, you can expeditiously leave. And for everybody who is hosting a live right now about this live, find you some motherfucking business. I don't know. And change your diaper. Eat something healthy or something. Because if you sit on online all day and talk about the people <laughs> who are in the box, who we are legitimately trying to find resolve, and all you want to do is act like this is entertainment, I literally feel sorry for you, fam. But yeah, make sure you get my good side. I was saying something and then Karen was going to respond. So Sky is pop. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jaunty. No, no, I was saying check your phone. That's it. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm trying to add you, Brett. It keeps. All right. All right. Um, Karen, go ahead because Sky, Sky's paused. So what I was going to say to that is I don't know if they played the whole live. But when I was using that example, that was an example of me when people said I called a dark skinned black woman a roach. It's once again, taking clips, calling things something that it wasn't in order to paint a light to say that I was using Jaunty's name in order to, you know, make this about a, a black women being harmed or something like that. I use that hey, in the content. Can you give me one second? Um, so they're saying the live is glitching. So make sure you guys are liking. Um, TikTok says that it's not just liking that helps. It is liking and sharing. So do both because it's glitching. Um, and I want everybody to be able to. So y'all go ahead. All right. Sorry, Karen. Yeah, sorry. And then my cat was getting chased by my dog. So, um, so yeah. So I was bringing that up to point out how we have all been problematic, how we have all done things. And I'm not changing my stance on that. I it, it's just not going to happen. Um, the same thing as for what people are like, oh, I'm Karen in the comments, just to people to, to reiterate the whole roach thing. I said that a woman was doing stuff in the dark and when the lights flicked on, ran away to hide like a roach. I will not take that back. Y'all not going to sit here and get in and just like how John T got some stuff off his chest. Let me go ahead and get some stuff off mine. I don't care. I said what I said. If you hide in the dark, everyone come on that roach like behavior. And I called it what I said. I don't care. Y'all are just calling stuff just to say something. Like it's ridiculous. I don't care. It was roach like behavior. I'm tired of y'all thinking that you're going to tell me what I can and cannot say and want to add colorists on it. It Do doesn't you matter who it was. I don't care. I am tired. You lie. What happened to your apology? No, I said no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hold on. Can I talk to Ab real quick? Oh, hold on. This is not what we're doing. Ab, can you please um ask her to answer what I said first? Because she's changing the subject. No. Well, I think I, she's not the subject she's actually addressing that something that was said before you said it yeah um, I, I, I don't know what the like you don't own me i'm i'm well, responding on, 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 i'm not Karen, saying i own Karen. you i didn't hear anything about the roaches brought up so i didn't know i apologize all right so yeah so so we're listen i want everybody to have the opportunity to cook so let's let's just let them so at the end of the day, no, I don't. I'm tired. I'm tired of people telling me what I have to say and how I have to um, operate on my platform. I called it what I said. If you do something in the dark and when somebody flipped the light on you, you want to hide your hand and scatter like a roach. You are being a roach. That's it. I, I don't care. I really don't unfollow like y'all. Y'all y'all just want to make something just to make something. So I, I don't care. I do not care.
That's so embarrassing. So, thank you. I am going to. I think she's not even responding to what I said. This is because you got to go. Thank you guys. Good night. Karen, Karen, Karen don't Karen, leave. Karen, Karen, that's what. That's wild. Something and just drop. You, you can't do that because they. I'm gonna give them the opportunity. It's <laughs> talking though. Hold on. You can't just say something that will require someone to respond and then drop because I'm gonna let them respond to you, whether you're in the box or not. I would prefer for you to be here. So they can't respond. I did. I answered her and I responded. You did and you did not address the part when I said that you were using Jensi's name to justify. I, I said that I wasn't. Live, that live was to justify Kappa. Oh, okay. If you got in the I, box see, this is what I'm saying. Go. You're telling me I'm doing oh, something. I'm telling you I'm not. So I, I, that's my answer. I'm not. Okay. So if they're in a live justifying what, what Kappa said and did, and then you ha hop in the box and say, well, y'all are hypocrites because Jinty has said worse. Is that not using him to justify what she's with the live? That was the exact in, in sequence. That's what happened. May I please speak? Hold on. Hold Ab, on. Do you, can you delegate? Am I tripping right now? Well, hold on. Don't, don't do that. Don't do no, that. I'm asking you because you're the neutral one. I'm asking yeah, you like, I can, do you get my question? But okay. I'm trying to give y'all, listen. I'm trying to give all y'all the opportunity to speak. This is what we finna do, all right? If we can't collectively as adults have this conversation, then we're not going to have it. That's what I'm going to say. Because I'm too damn old to be asking adults to literally listen and respond. And that's anybody. And I'm sorry if anybody feels cut off, but I'm also not sorry at the same time. Because if you come over here and want to have a conversation, you don't like how I'm housing it, you don't like how I'm letting certain people talk and not talk, I don't know what to tell y'all. That's just it. So, Karen said something. Scott does not feel that Karen answered it. Karen feels that she did. There's nothing I can do. Do you feel that you answered her, Karen? Scott, do you feel that you were answered? No, which part did you answer that? So just ask you which that was the answer. Okay. So at this point, what I'm not going to do is argue about how conversations are being had. If you don't sound like, if you don't feel like she answered you, I, I can't make her answer any further. That's the answer she gave. We have to move on from that in some way. If you feel like she didn't answer you and you're not happy with that, I, I, I can't fix that. She feels she did. You feel she didn't. I don't. We need to move on because we're not going to keep reiterating the same thing over and over. So at this point, she said, yes, you don't feel she did. You're valid in your feelings. She's valid in hers. Can we move on? Yes, no. Yep. Go ahead, Mark. Um, I don't think she's going to answer me directly, so I'm just going to speak in general. But I feel like when you say something and people call it out, like if like just stand on your colorism because what you said was very much colorism and i feel like you you know it was colorism so just stand on it just be like hey i said something colorist um i don't take it back and it is what it is but to say like people trying to just throw these words out at you and say this then the third i think is crazy and i think it's very invalidating um, but I know the black community is known for invalidating other black people, especially when it comes to colorism. So I'm not really surprised. But like I said, like, just stand on it. You said something colorist. It is what it is. But don't try to make everybody else be delusional because everybody's not delusional. You said what you said. Stand on it. I'm not. I stand on what I said. Thanks. You're, you're very welcome. May I speak now? Who said that? Brats. Where are you at? Okay, yes. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Um, so with that being said, I absolutely agree with Mani. Um, it it is colorist to call dark skin to compare them to men, animals, and insects. Okay. Uh, number one, I never open my mouth and fix my lips to call on Karen colorist. I let her know that what she said was colorist. And what she came into my life to do was to combat that instead of just acknowledging it, which we all understand impact over intent. Then she took it a step further to post a video of a dark skinned woman saying that she is going to call her haters roaches. What do we call that? The invalidation of me calling her out 
about said colorist statement. I want to clarify that it was not said roach activity until the roach was called. Then it was cleaned up to roach activity. Um, and you can find a video on my page still to this day since her uh, hater roach video is still up uh, where she doubled down and said I was exactly right when I called you a roach. Furthermore, she held a live and asked, is the term roach colorist? Several people came up and said yes. Some people came up, came up and said that it also had racist um, connotations as well when coming from YT people. And then she issued an apology. So I'm very confused and concerned with the withdrawing of that apology and this live. Um, Don't with be that concerned being said, about it. It's she fine. absolutely... Um, I'm sorry, I didn't even hear that. Um, but with that being said, she absolutely Wait, hold on, hold on, quick, herself. Right. Hold on, real quick, Karen. What were you addressing just now? I, I just wanted to say that that's that's fine. Um, that if that's don't be concerned about it because it's that's that's fine. I'm a concern with it, but I want. But, to be concerned I, but about also, it. if if I want, I, let me let me explain something real quick too, just to everybody. Um, I know we're all over the place in the conversation. Some of these things I do not even know what occurred or what happened. I want everybody to have the opportunity to speak. Um, if there is something like that you don't want to talk about, you don't but keep in mind, I do not know everything that's going on. So if we could just let everybody finish and then chime in, that's how I'm trying to do it. Am I falling short? I might, you know, it's a little hard, but can we, can we try to keep to that? So go ahead, Brad, and then let Karen respond to you, Brad. And when we sit around and we say that people don't listen to dark skinned black women, everybody turns around and say, oh, no, we care about colorism. But when we discuss, when we express our discomfort with how something um, has colorist connotation and how something affects us, it is unheard and uncared about. Um, this wouldn't even be back spoken on because, again, this happened in December. However, she wanted to insert herself in the llama situation and make it seem like I called capital colorist, which I did not either. Um, and, and, and bring up John T for no reason. If I've ever heard John T say something that I did not like, then I would absolutely express that to John T. Um, so I don't, I, I still don't understand what that was being done that, for. That is true. That, that is true. I still don't understand what, what that is being done for. But at, at the end of the day, it really is what it is. I'm just need people to stop speaking on me and then trying to turn around and make it seem like I'm a cloud chaser when I speak back on them in return because y'all prove my point every time. Other people do this too. When they don't like me, suddenly I'm a black AB. But then when I say let's unpack what's being wrong with being a black AB, then suddenly suddenly I'm calling people colorists when I'm just simply telling people that they have more work to do. Um, pushing this narrative that I think I'm I get on live and tell people that I'm not perfect and tell people that I've been an absolute C double O N in the past and tell people that I went to private school with YT people where I absolutely assimilated and thought that I was better than other black people. To, when I tell people that at one point in time in my life, I thought I was pretty for dark skin, that I thought I was the exception to the rule that dark skin people must be ugly is absolutely unhinged. And that just lets me know that you don't never listen when I'm talking. And that's fine. You don't have to listen to me. But if you don't listen to me and you don't know what my platform is about, please keep your opinions about me to, to yourself. That's all I have to say. All right, Karen, you are. I, I, yeah, I think it's funny how she says that she can make opinions, but when I make opinions and join somebody's live, it's a problem. So you can make opinions, you can talk, you can keep a conversation going, but I can't. Y'all are fake. Y'all are self-serving. Y'all just do and say things just because. It, it's, it's, there's no, there's no point. You, you cannot win with you guys. That You can't win. Because you're telling me that you can k talk about whatever you want, but then you're calling me out for joining song, um, Allie's Live with Songbird for talking about the llama's drone. Girl, come on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like I said, I, listen, I got to go. I, I, I appreciate I everything. Hi with the gaslighting. Hold See on. You later. No, I, I, I,
<laughs> well, that's what, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, I'm gaslighting. I'm not taking it serious. And you know what? I don't care at this point. I don't. I don't care. So go go about how you want to do that. Um, but I'm going to go watch a movie. So good night, everybody. Good night, Karen. All right. So with Karen dropping, we're not bringing this that the situation with Karen back up. I don't really care about Karen. I just want to Go ahead, Mike. Hold on. Moving on. I just want to say, like, if Karen was a white person and said this, y'all would be in an uproar. But because she's a black woman. Huh? Oh, I just. Oh, my. But can she say it in. You, you can talk. You okay. Well, to, but... In general, if a white person. Hold on, let's, let's. Oh, sorry. It's all good. And I know there's probably a lag, but I want to be clear when I talk. I need everybody to be quiet. I, I don't care if I'm interrupting, to be honest with y'all. I really don't. Right. But I know there's a lag, too, as well. But Karen's not here. So we're not specifically speaking to Karen um, in this moment. Also, they said there's a lag and it's skipping and it's glitching. So make sure y'all like and share the live. Um, try to go out and come back. I don't know, because I want everybody to be heard. But I know for us in the panel, there's very much a lag. So... Let's keep that in mind as well. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monica. Oh, okay. So in general, if a YT person called black women roaches and stood on what they said, everybody in the comments and in the, and in the panel will be trying to do a witch hunt and be down their throat. But because it's a black woman, a black person with a huge following, y'all like to say, oh, y'all just upset. Y'all just this, that, and a third. And this is why, like, I say I'm tired of the black community because y'all don't take black issues seriously. Um... And I think that is very hypocritical. And I'm not trying to drag their platform into it, but when you have such a huge platform with with reach like that, like white T people was in the comments saying that black women, dark skinned black women are roaches. So like, how does that reflect on you? Like, do you stand for? I get behavior? harassed every and day on, in my hold on, comments. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. after. And, my and it's like, I just think it's so crazy how when people call you out for it, like you with your platform being so big, how can you be mad that people calling you out for it and want it to be addressed? But that's why I say, like, if y'all going to say colorist stuff, just say, yes, I, I said something colorist and I stand on it. Be about it, but don't try to, like, make tough. Like, I just think that here because um, I, I don't know, because just like... I, I had to take accountability for my my hand in that list. Shit, why is it a problem that everybody else gotta get to run from accountability and standing on what they do? But it is what it is. Um, all right, go ahead, Dip. I guess I could probably real maybe... quick, Dip. Before you go, I'm sorry. If you've been waiting on the request, you unadding yourself and adding yourself again is not gonna make me add you any faster. Go ahead, Dip. I could understand, you know, maybe it's just something that was thrown out there. But when any time you have an issue with the black community, you got to sweat it out. You got to make that part be known about it and how black women don't like you and they continue to do problematic shit and uh, refuse to take accountability. Ain't no time for no grace because you know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. Hella passive aggressive microaggressions, all of that shit all rolled into, into one. While, um, no, I didn't. While putting yourself on this pedestal like you have the right to look down your nose at other people you can't do that you can't do that it's a matter of respect you can't continue to throw out there and be a certain way and over there trying to hold people accountable and putting on this little character and shit and then want to run when it's time for you to um stand up to the bat too like come on hey, I, uh -uh. all right um i think sky was trying to say something no, I'm saying if we're going to move from the Aunt Karen thing, I want to make it clear of my position because everybody in the comments is saying, oh, Jinty's talking about you, Jinty's talking about you, when you were saying people use your platform or use you as an atomic bomb. I just want to make sure that my position is clear, that I literally felt like okay. to justify okay. your friend's behavior. So do you understand that? Well, I or, think that, I, at, at I, this I, point, that's a conversation you and Jonathan need to have outside of here because Aunt Karen's not here. We don't have to talk if, about Aunt Karen. I'm just talking about me, my saying. position. No, because it was told that I was using him as a bomb, so, so again, I want to get clarification on In general, about him feeling like that, let's do that. 
Um, but if it comes specifically to Aunt Karen, she's not here in this moment. So that I think at this No, we don't have to talk about Aunt Karen to just no. ask him in general. I'm asking in general. Ask I think my question is being. You, no, it's not. You did not. You said Aunt Karen. And that's all I'm addressing is that you said Aunt Karen. Okay, I won't say her name. I I'm saying in general. Ask he said. General question, you can. If it's specifically to Aunt Karen, I think we're at the okay. point now that you guys can have this conversation off of here. But there's no need for me and you to argue. You said Aunt Karen. That's just what I'm saying. Okay. okay. So the other part that he said was actively all the time there is a group of people that do use his platform and i'm asking you can you tell me when because i will hold myself accountable besides the aunt karen thing you want to make that clear there there's times where i feel like you me personally and i'm not i'm not attacking you because i'm calm now where i feel me personally there are times you came into my platform and i felt like you only came on my platform to get coins that's yeah, that's just me the, I, I can't, I can't remember economy. exact dates, uh, 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 Sky. I can't remember, but there has been multiple times you've done it. There have. There's times you came in a box and you're like, oh, oh, don't forget to send me coins, y'all. Don't forget to cash at me. Oh, that, without, I'm without, sorry. Without, without no, even asking saying, me. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. Like, if you if you ask, I don't care. But you come in comfortable and just do it. And and I've I always had a know, problem with yeah. it, but I kept my mouth shut because, again, I didn't want to bother you. I didn't want to piss you off. And that's the problem that I have with myself is that I'm too damn worried about getting canceled and too damn worried about other people's feelings before my own. And I'm telling you right now, I'm tired of it. I'm yes. tired. Of it. Again, I don't mean I don't mean to put you on front street, but you asking me. No, I'm glad you said that. No, for real. Finish. Because I, I, I just don't like that. I'm sorry. Yes. I, just, I don't like that shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. And, and I don't I'm like this Michaela chick in the comment section still at me, sis. If you're not talking to Scala or Blaze, if you better have that same energy for them. Because if you still got this same energy for me and not people who are worse than me, you're a coward. Don't at me. Don't talk about me no more. Respectfully. Or, or go, holla at my, go holla at my sisters at this point so they can handle you. Hold on. Because I'm getting are going crazy on me. Can I clarify something? Can I I'm sorry. Hold on real quick. What, 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 has, what has she been saying? Because I haven't. What does she say, Jonathan? No, she just keep at me and I'm tired of it. I don't know why this little ass girl keep talking to me. Like, leave me alone. Amy White? Huh? Amy Keller White? No, she's black. She, she, I don't know why she keep bothering me. Like, sis, leave me alone. Like, you don't, you, I don't see, like, this is what I'm talking about. I don't see none of y'all having this weird ass energy. Y'all don't have this buck ass energy for other content creators y'all that do far worse than me. Wait, but which McKellar? Come at me for what? Which like, McKellar? what do you want from me? Some some chick, I don't know. She's talking about, oh, you don't like the fact that I'm saying stuff about yourself. I don't care about that. I don't care if you feel a way about me. I admit that I've made mistakes. But baby, out of all the large ass content creators on this app, who the fuck apologizes more than me? No one. You know how many times I took accountability do for that, my shit? Bro, don't do that. All right, you know, all right, all right. So he trying to get me to apologize. I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> but you know what I, but Ev, come on, man. Like, I'm definitely top five at least. Like, I apologize like crazy. Can I clear time and half the time, I don't even need to apologize. I'm always taking accountability for something. But y'all don't sit here and, and, and come at people who sit here and do far worse, bro. Clarify one thing. Um, so, Jency, I never knew that that was a boundary to cross. I genuinely apologize. I get in everybody, even, I don't care if there's 14 people in there. I, I always come in the box and be like, yeah, you better gift me or you're anti-black, like, playing around. I never even knew that it was, like, disrespectful. Like, I, nobody ever told me that, and I'm not using it as an excuse. But when I come in your live and everybody, like, we just be kiki, and I be like, yeah, make sure you, make sure you, um, um, gift to me or you're, or you're fatphobic. Like, I say that in everybody live, and I never even knew that was disrespectful. Like, until you just now telling me this. That's why I'm like, when you saying people using you for your platform and stuff, I wish I knew you felt that way, cause I would have, I would have never did it again. When I, when I be playing like that, it's sometimes I say stuff or sometimes I do stuff that might hurt somebody and I don't know till you tell me. Genty, we've been in spaces for months together debating, going against white people all the time. And I never knew you felt like that. I never want to feel like somebody that I'm, I don't, y'all don't have to say the friend name, but somebody I care about on this app or I'm cool with on this app. Fuck that care about, are we even cordial or in the same spaces? If I do something to hurt you, tell me. I am not, I am not lacking accountability. I am not better than nobody on this fucking app. I just be up here popping shit and playing Sims like ain't coming for white people. So 
I like I'm so shocked right now, and this is not to pay victim. I never even knew that was disrespectful, and I'm so sorry. But I that's never even and I know a lot of people center their problems in a platform, and I never wanted to do guy. that. But I'm sorry. Guy, give me one second. I want to adjust something. Um, I'm that tired of these bitches in the comment section. I hope y'all get hit by yeah. a bug. No, so I want to adjust something really quick. I need to get hit by a fucking I need, thing. Hold on, John. All of y'all niggas. I need the people comments. who are Stop watching. Monty, please hold on. I need people who are watching um, our live right now to stop fucking capping, to stop lying. Yeah. Yeah. Of course I got to talk to you because you're... I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. You just lied on Sky. You just lied on Sky. You talked about Dua who ain't never said nothing about your bitch ass. Don't do that. You literally sit here and talk about us all the time because you have nothing. No, ain't no talk to you. You got us playing over there like what? Like, let's be so, no, I can, oh my God, who is up? Nobody wants to lick your booty, bitch. Ooh. Yeah, tell me something. Obviously, you give a fuck about me because you showing my shit, bitch. You're showing my shit. Ain't no shut the fuck up. You're pathetic. Ugly. Ugly. Ooh. Baby, ugly. 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 She's, she's I'm coming watching at you because you're you watching her. us. Like, be so fucking for real. All you do is come on live. All you do is come on live and have one of our lives playing in the background. And it's sad. It's sad. I don't wake up thinking in the morning, I want to talk about granny today. Because you're not important. You're not relevant. Now, we over here trying to have productive conversation. All you want to do is talk the fuck about us. Be so fucking for real, bitch. Be so fucking for real. By the way. You're still talking back to me. You don't care, but you're talking back to me, homie. You're talking back to me. Yes. Yes. I'm ugly. I'm ugly. I'm, I took my meds. Did you take yours? Did you take oh. yours? Did you take yours? Ooh. Did you take yours? You took Ooh. yours? Ooh. I'm an ugly hoe. The only person that will want. Ooh. Who I run off? Who I run off? Who I run off? Who I run? No, you don't have to tell me. I know what the fuck I did. You know what? The oh my God, I'm ugly. I'm good. I'm, oh. I'm ugly. And I'm a hoe. And I'm a hoe. It said, a do you want some of the me. attention I get? Yes. Yes, 2,000. You have a oh. hundred and some people in there. The only time you pull numbers like that is when you're talking about the fuck us. Yeah, be fucking sure. for real. Be fucking for real. Don't nobody talk about you on a regular basis, but you come in here and talk about us. Child, one thing you can, you can call me a lot of things. I wouldn't slide. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm a I cracker like slide, my mama. <laughs> oh. Mm, bitch, that's a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not threatened by any woman, let alone you. Please understand. You don't know my mom to talk about her ass. So shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Ooh. I'm colorist. Okay, got you. Got you. I'm colorist. I'm colorist. Am I? Am I? Ooh. I'm a bigot. I'm fake. Do it doesn't have to fight my battles. I'm a grown ass fucking woman who doesn't look elderly. I'm a grown ass woman who don't look fucking elderly, <laughs> bitch. Ab, don't get your life taken down. Granny, I wouldn't tolerate that level of disrespect. Don't get your life taken around behind <laughs> Morgan Freeman. That, Granny. Do not get your life taken behind Morgan Freeman. We know she's seen Granny, go change your diaper. We sick of you. You're a child. Hold on, anyway. Eb, Eb, Eb. There's no point of arguing with somebody who ain't seen dick. No, because the thing like, that pisses me off is if you want to watch live, watch live. But you sitting here lying, just lied on Sky. Literally just lied on Sky. You talked about doing and talked about you and talked about me and talked about everybody in this box. Like, be so fucking for real. You're a child. You're pathetic. It's sickening. You sit on What's she can say about me? It's true. It's not fucking true. Don't do that. You the, you the fucking problem. You the fucking problem. So all you gonna say is I'm white and I'm. Do it, not Granny People bringing us all together. Hold on, let me <laughs> that. And I don't want you think you can out talk me, honey. You cannot. Can I we can't hear you. Like can I clarify something I was just said? First of all, let me make something very clear. When I read somebody, it's never from a place of any type of phobia, nothing, right? When I be calling Granny Coy Bundy Morgan Freeman, it's not because she's a black woman and I'm like masculating her. I'm calling her Morgan Freeman because she's old. I've M M Morgan Freeman has been old since I was born. He's been 92 my entire <laughs> life. That is the joke. The joke is none of us have ever seen Morgan Freeman when he was young. You know why? Because I was 92, okay? Benjamin Button. So when I call her Morgan Freeman, it's because she's old, not because she's black. 
do it. We can't hear that you. That is for us who's literally going around oh, saying, Fushan, I she agrees. Wait, can y'all hear me now? He agrees with can y'all hear me now? He agrees with you, bro. With me? Yeah. Wait, wait, can hey, y'all hey, hear me now? Hey, hey, granny, 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 please. I, I don't yeah. want George Washington Carver speaking to me. Go make some peanut butter, some shit, bitch. Leave me alone. Go away. Leave me Listen, alone. Y'all realize y'all going back and forth with someone who's 92, right? Y'all going back and forth with someone who literally wakes up, has her prune juice and tea, and then gets on the app and starts talking about us because she has nothing to do with, <laughs> nothing better to do with her life. Her grandkids don't like her. Her great-grandchildren don't like her. Her great-great-grandchildren don't like her. Harriet, Tub She's mad because Harriet Tubman left her. I'm trying to tell y'all. She I'm mad. She looks like you. Frederick Douglass. Are you kidding me, sis? I'm like I'll be, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. God <laughs> damned. If I let again, that's because she's old, not because. Hold she's on, old. hold on. Let me let me finish. Let me finish. Let do Jante. I'll be goddamn. Take that down, please. I'll please. be goddamned if I let somebody who literally looks like a cold gout flare up talk about us and get away with it. Granny, you talk about me. I've never, I've only been in your, I've never even been in your life. Actually, no, I've been in your life once and I told you to get a life and that's why you mad. Because I told you. There's a now senior I'm center powerless. down the street from your house. So hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, Sky. Come on. I ain't, I ain't never talk over you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can sit there and talk all you want. All you want, Granny Coy. But for real, I'm going to let you know. There's a senior center down the street from you. They have bingo on Wednesday. And Thursday, they do the cha-cha slide. Get it together. You do a sit down. I don't got sedentary problems in your knees. And, and, the, and the gout flare up is real with you. You look like hypertension. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Stop talking about us. Figure your life out first. Get back, get, get back good with your grand. And th and this is what I'm talking about. Everybody in the comments like, oh, colorism is bad, but ageism okay? I can't speak for nobody else in this box. And I'm going to put my camera on when I say this. When I tell you, I oh, shit, let me take a picture out before Ed kill me. When I tell you, I do not care what you call me. I don't care what ism you give me at this point. I really don't care. I got women in the comment section all of a sudden. Now I'm anti-black woman. Why? Because I'm not letting a black woman be homophobic to me, call me dirty, making fun of my child's weight, speaking on my dead relatives. So because you're a woman that has to be black, I got to bite my tongue. I'm not biting my tongue. Everybody can get this verbal ass whooping. It's rated E for everybody. I don't care. That hoe's been coming at me for a whole year calling me a groomer. And I got to sit here and be nice because your feelings is supposed to be more important than mine? Bitch, fuck you. Go cry about it. Go cry in that little piss ass freaking Honda Civic y'all got. Put that bitch in park and think about your life. If people on the internet is bothering you that much, bitch, get the fuck off the internet. Go back to Facebook where the other motherfuckers play bingo at. Get the fuck off TikTok there, ho. Hold on, real quick. And Kino, and Kino. Don't forget Jonathan, Kino. Hold on, hold on Jonathan. Brett, can we talk about your comment real quick, baby? Yes. I do care. Don't do that. No, not you. I'm not talking about that. Because we we I'm we talking about the stuff. comments. Don't do that. The comments don't. Y'all don't be saying ageism when we get in call young and dumb and inexperienced and immature and childish. So why is y'all screaming ageism now? Because Granny Coy Bundy is in diapers. So what? Some of us use diapers oh, on our time of the month. So what about it? I also just want to say that to back to the first point, why are bigger creators tell at I feel like um, speaking in general, my comment section has been um, filtered since December because people like to drop the roach emoji in my comment section. Um, so I just feel like, hmm, how can I say this in general? I'm not even going to check my filter comments tonight because I can only guess what they're going to look like today. And I feel like that might be part of the reason some people are held to a different standard. Am I saying that it's fair? Absolutely not. Because I don't be liking to be held to standards all the time either. And my platform is, is not as big. But sometimes you just got to take accountability and keep it pushing. Can you take your actions away? No. But I don't think, you know, running to double down is always the best idea. I also, also, like, Granny, like, if you're going to talk about us, like, make it entertaining or something. Do a dance. Oh, well, actually, no, don't do a dance. You might break your can, can I ask a question? Just really quick. And this, I'm making it about me for one second, and then we can go back to what we're talking about. Because I have two 
dark skinned women in here. Do y'all think that I'm colorist? Do I say colorist things? Do, like, tell me. Not I, that I, I know I, of. Old back just in the background. It's amazing. Yeah. It's hilarious. I just, I want to ask because See, y'all know me. Granny Clay, buddy, those are the people. Like that. I want to change what I'm doing. Those are the people that call people names for no reason, though. Like, those are the labelers that we need to be talking about. Because it, you, colorist, that is not nothing I've ever witnessed. And I've always watched your lives and your content. So, yeah, I, those are the people that we need to be focusing on false claiming people's stuff and not people who actually did something colorist and got called out. I've yeah, been them be the people who throw them labels. I've been with you oh. in real life, in public, and as two light-skinned women together, you have never been colorist. I've never encountered I, if I, Listen, I, I feel like y'all know me. I, I'm old. Like, we say things because geographically we say and do things. But when we were amongst or on a platform where it's people from, go ahead, child. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we understand we might say things around our friends, but don't realize how offensive it may be. If I ever do that, y'all know me. It just takes one time for y'all to be like, this time on it. So if I am or have done, I want y'all, y'all know y'all can, y'all know this. Y'all can correct me. I just want to make sure because I hate that the fact that in order for them to gain traction on who don't like us, they lie. Like, don't lie, don't lie on me. If yeah. I did something wrong, make it be something I did wrong. Y'all you, you, understand what I'm saying? Like, can we, can we, like, can we, can we, can I'm revoking Hoochie Daddy season or some shit like that. Do that. Yes. yes. Hoochie Daddy season is haram. Anyways, um, I just wanted to say this. I just also wanted to say this. Um, Granny Koi Bundy is out here with crow's feet on the mouth, neck, and thigh, and everywhere else talking about us. We should not be talking to talk like worrying about someone who literally had. Listen, haram, haram, haram. I don't want to see that. Um, we don't. We don't need to. We don't need to go back and forth for her. Like it's funny, but like we're giving we're giving her the attention that she also needs in her life, and we don't deserve, like she needs to get it from her great 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 grandchildren, not us, not us. But, but I know. Dude, but it's I funny. literally am so. I, I I'm sorry. I know it's funny. I know I, it's funny. I, but I like, how, how would you feel? No, go ahead. You you good? Go ahead. How would, how would you how would you feel if you had crow's feet on your face? Everyone like crow's feet on your nose, crow's feet on your on your on your lips, and and people are talking about you when you need to see a dermatologist. She needs to see a dermatologist. What we should be doing is putting her in the direction of a good orthopedic doctor and a dermatologist, so she can fix all this and get back to what she usually used to do, which was absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was saying, I, 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 I hope, and everybody that has been up here, I know that people are waiting and I will let them up. Um, but I just want to make sure because I did get called out a minute ago for not necessarily doing um, or handling things uh, in a certain way that I should have. And I have to take responsibility for that. Um, sometimes it's a little hard to catch everything, to do everything. And sometimes it seems like me interrupting is rude or not letting some or not being able to revert back to somebody to finish their statement. I do want to apologize. I'm really trying my best, but that does not negate the impact of anything that's going on here. I just don't, I don't like us doing this, but I also understand for anything to be a resolve, whether it's you don't fuck with somebody or y'all come to some sort of like whatever, you know what I'm saying? It, it plays out like this sometimes. I'm not worried about those people who all they worry about is seeing us do this. Because ultimately, the end of the end goal for me is: are are, are y'all fucking with each other or not? So we can move on. Because all of us, outside of these motherfuckers, like this this one right here, we all talk about things that are important, um, that are applicable to us and or other people. Um, whether it's just fun stuff or it's serious stuff, and I want us to get back to that. And I just feel like right now on this side of this side of TikTok, it's a lot of not of that. There's a lot of that not going on. When I know, like, I fuck with all y'all heavy. So I'm trying to do my best. If I fall short, you know, just let me know. I ain't got no problem. Um, recognizing and, and changing um, that. Because one thing we don't do is talk about other motherfuckers all day long. Because we, we trying to make change. So with that, can, I, can, I, can I just say something? I just want to address Dip real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be quick. No, you good. Yeah, um, okay. Um, and then yeah, I think, I think um, Brad's, I kind of interrupted too. So I'm going to have beef with you again if you don't follow me back. That's all I'm, all I'm saying. Figure it out. Just figure that shit out. All right. Quick. Quickly.
You're muted. No, I fixed it. I thought I was following you. My bad. But yeah, to everybody in the comment section that's saying she's talking about me now, listen, she's old and she's dying, right? She has no family. She has none of it. No, she's sitting here calling me a groomer, Eb. I don't care. And I know, I know, but look, let's not talk about she's dying because, you know, her and I, she's not that much older than me. Well, so we're close in age. That she's means I'd dying, be dying, like too. I said. Sorry, I won't repeat it again, but she, yeah, she's going to be fading away really soon. She's going to be in somebody's urn because of her old age. I don't care what she's saying about me. She's been calling me, she's been calling me a groomer for a year. Right? Sit, like, I don't care. Stop sitting here talking about that she's talking ish about me. I don't give a fuck. I'm young, I'm beautiful, and my life is gonna be very awesome within the next 50 years. I can't say the same for her. Her own kids hate her. She has three evictions. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, do don't do that, don't do that. I don't care. Okay, you don't care, but don't do that here. Fine, I'm sorry. Thank you. 45? I, no. I thought she was 98. No, no. 92, actually. No, I asked Scott. You supposed to be having, don't do that. No. She she's a little older than me, but I, you know how I am. Don't bring kids up in any aspect at all over here. We don't do that. Fine. She gets to bring up mine like she's always been doing. And that's and you handle her however you want to on your live. You we've had talks. I understand why you respond the way you do, but over here, I I, I don't want that to happen because them kids, the wives, the husbands, the friends have nothing to do with that person individual. So keep it to them. All right. But but I have a question for Granny though. Um, when Frederick Douglass spoke at the White House, what was that like? I'm out. She's I'm not out. that I'm much out. older than me. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm sorry. Okay. Jante, go ahead. And then I'll yeah. Like, yeah, like I was saying. And then um, Dip can talk. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to give attention to people who's friends with murderers and pedophiles. I don't care. But unalivers. Um, unalivers. Unalivers and edophiles. I'm sorry. But um, like I said, this, this TikTok is mad weird, bro. Like, like I said, it's fake all the way around my opinion just my opinion just my opinion i think people are very picky and choosy of who they want to sit here and try to cancel it's mad weird and then when people sit here and point that out you guys want to sit here and call people narcissists you guys don't even know what the definition of narcissist is right you guys want to sit here and throw around these words you guys just learned by being on debate talk respectfully you guys are not as smart as you guys think you are you guys are not as woke as you guys think you are and i was once in that little crowd and i realized outside looking in how stupid i look i'm tired of it i'm sick of it and i think everyone in the vast majority is sick of it we gotta stop sitting here acting like we perfect we're not every last one of us in this live has some has displayed bigotry at some point in their lives some of us have sat here and actually fucking apologized and then went back and doing the same damn problematic shit we apologized for two months ago and i'm speaking on everybody especially me i'm the biggest culprit here for that i sat here and apologized so much and sat here and went back and did the same fuck shit. I, I agree. I, I've done it. All right. Well, maybe except Dippity, but I've done it. I've done it. I'm just saying. It, that's what I see. Yeah, exactly. It's life. We're, we're sitting here, all of us, at our grown ages. None of us are millionaires. None of us are rich. None of us been on the red carpet. And we sit here trying to hold each other accountable. Like we sitting here, uh, uh, like, like we're like, no, enough. Enough, enough, enough. I'm sick of it. Just agree to disagree. Jesse, can I ask Move a on. question? Oh, my God. I got a universe. Well, what? Okay, per hold on, was that mine? I can't see because that was Kelly. No, yeah. no. First of all, Kelly, where was you at during damn he won anyway? Was that Monty? I couldn't see who was talking because Oh, I was soon to ask Jen to your but question. That's <laughs> oh good, love. Okay, Can you tell your followers to stop sending me thrift death threats and stop trying to cancel they only go what? listen to me? They not go listen to me. Okay. All right, let me make that very clear. You didn't know we the color is let me make this. No, I'm clear. talking about this list shit. Like, tell them. Okay, they still, they still on that? All right, so. They sending me death threats, telling me all this if, bullshit. If you are a so-called supporter of mine, you out here sending death threats to people in the com in the inbox or comment section, whatever the case may be, when I find out who you are, I'm going to expose you. So, Mani, you're going to send me screenshots of every person that's doing that. And I will block that. Oh, you block them? Because they okay. ghost pages. They all not right. on their So the next time that happened, send it to me immediately. That goes for brats. That goes for Imani, scrubs, anybody that, they, that, they're, that they're harassing. You send okay. it to me and I will expose them. Don't sit here and send no death threats to somebody because me and them have a little disagreement. Don't do that. Please don't do that. But I don't, I don't think that's the part of having a larger platform and being more popular that... 
y'all don't understand sometimes when it comes to like smaller content creators it's not even necessarily y'all it's your followers and the way the the extent that they're willing to go in your name does that make sense like it's, it's no, absolutely absolutely they get some people get off the chain like even up into in real life so i think that's the big thing when it comes to stuff like that thank you for the gifts and i just want to let y'all know um I have tried to unalive myself before, so just say if I do, y'all gonna be hell liable. Oh. So keep it. Monty, we love you and we want you here. I was just gonna point out that Monty actually said that in that live, that whole list live. So the fact that y'all turned around and did that is weird. Um, I actually, my original point in coming up here was about, you know, the whole background, the fact that three of my mods have been DOX. This past week, it's just like, y'all are unhinged. It is You a block shot out of my life. It's to the point where I tell them don't even block no more. Okay? Y'all y'all don't hate me that bad. I understand the brass hate train. I seen all y'all pages with my face on there and named Ape and Herpes and whatever she want to call me. That is fine. But going after my mind, some of them don't even have live access and y'all are D-O-X-ing them behind TikTok. And half of the time, y'all don't even be having the story straight. I'm going to need y'all to get it together. Because my mutuals are literally being, my minds are literally being pumped. Like somebody pulled up to one of their houses behind this. One of my mutuals had 10 people standing outside their door. Just that staring. Right now? Yes. Can I say something really quick? Um, and then you immediately start talking after. Um. I'm going to say this because I don't want to call this person out because I actually like them. Um, but what I need y'all to do, not too much on Bratz or anybody else who has spoken out against a particular group on TikTok, because you can go to. Oh, uh, yeah. So what I was saying, like one of my mutuals had 10 people standing, 10 men standing at their door, just staring at the door. Okay, so this is deeper than TikTok. When y'all get to doing throwing out people's addresses and stuff, it I'll gets deeper that. than TikTok because there are sick people just on this app. Right, people are sick. And I need for y'all to understand that. So while y'all think it's hee hee ha ha, I'm I'm dropping people addresses because I don't like this creator. Guess what? Me and Dippy didn't get into it before. She said she don't even remember. I would never get on this app and drop her address. Number one, she's a black woman. I definitely don't know if she got children. Why am I going to put a black woman in harm? And it'd be over y'all disagreeing with topics. But half of the time, y'all say y'all pro-black. It's unhinged. Um, does somebody want to comment real quick? I promise I don't be remembering. <laughs> I don't Go be ahead. remembering shit. So, I mean... I just be chilling. I, I ain't got no smoke for nobody. But to piggyback on what Brad said, that's absolutely true because y'all are getting people's children involved and that's not okay. No, they bet they 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 banana my main page. They ain't gonna give it back to me. Y'all finally got me. God damn it. But um which Macaulay, yeah, it's 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 beyond it's gone beyond. And that shit is scary as fuck. Cause nobody should have to live looking behind their shoulders in real life because of something they said on the internet. I'm not fucking with your money. I'm not fucking with your kids. I'm not fucking with your jobs. I'm not doing anything. I said what I said. I felt how I felt. For you to take it out on this, nah, that shit is not okay. It's scary. The links that some people will go, especially if it's not even at me saying something to you, is because you didn't like what I said to somebody you like. Like, I've gotten plenty of smoke Dip, give me Just one. Off 